five green dial watches that you can actually buy. Whoa! But first, I'm not a watch expert, I'm just a watch nerd, so if I get anything wrong, if you have anything to add, any queries, any rum rumples? I yeah, any rumples with what I say, um, just get involved in the comments. I love to hear everything that you guys have to add. If you've got any green doll watches to add, any green watches to add, let me know. I would love to find out. The point of this video is to talk about some nice luxury green doll watches that aren't affected by huge register of interest or waiting times. Um, otherwise, obviously, I'd talk about the Aquanaut, the green, like the olive green Aquanaut, which somebody likes. It's not my, my dream is. Terry loves it. These are watches you can actually go online and order right now. You can go to, I don't know, you can go to Beaver Brooks and order half of them. Number one, this is gonna be a surprise, um, but Glasshuta Original with the Panomatic Luna. Oh, it's a stunner, this watch. I got hands on with it not too long ago. And holy, just, just holy, it's stunning. The back of this watch, has a gently, a sort of micro rotor movement. It's got a big Alangonsona Germanic style luxury date window, which only Glasshuta and Langer use. Love it. It's got the like sub dial for the time and little on the dial. It's got moon phase. Oh, it's just stunning. And it's such a vibrant green. It's gorgeous. It's essentially a Langer for less money. A lot of money, it's 10,100 great British pounds, GBP. But it's lovely. The moon phase, it's a little silver moon phase. It's just stunning. We love it. It uses the caliber 9002. It's 40 millimeters and 12.7 millimeters thick. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I got the pleasure of using one the other week, playing with it. I played with the blue dial, but the green dial is just as nice. Watch number two. Terry loves this watch. I've also had the pleasure of playing with this watch, and oh my good gravy. The Girard Perigo Laureato 42mm green dial. That green dial is so beautiful and vibrant. The texturing on the dial is stunning. It's like hundreds of little pyramids. Rather than just a waffle dial, they've really gone over the top with the texturing, and it shows just how much care and attention they've given it. And it's amazing. It's an integrated bracelet sports watch from a centuries old Swiss brand that you can actually go out and buy in steel. It's not only the precious metal ones available. You can just walk down to your latest, to your nearest watches of Switzerland or something and just pick up a Laureato or click and collect it. And it's $14,300. What is that in civilized money? Um, the only issue with the Girard Perigo Laureato is the spelling. I've just had to type in Girard because I have no idea how to spell Girard Perigo Laureato. This is my dream watch, I think. This is, this my, is. My affordable dream watch. Affordable at. With air quotations. Affordable at 12,200 pounds. But what a watch it is. It is a stunner. The case and bracelet is so highly polished and, but with a nice, level of brushing. It's got an octagonal bezel. It's just beautiful. I would love one, but there's many other watches I want instead and first, but what a watch it is. In 42 millimeter, it wears really, really nicely. Based on a 1970s design, as all integrated sports watches really are, including the PRX and everything. But yeah, damn. Using the caliber GPO 1800, it is, there's nothing wrong with that watch. And watch number three. We are going to jump to Omega. And you're probably wondering, what's he going to talk about? Is he going to talk about the Seamaster 300 meter? Is he going to talk about the Aquaterra? No, we're not gonna talk about any Seamasters. <laughs> no, I love the Seamasters. Um, <laughs> they're great watches. But we made an entire video on the 300 meter for the Summer Blue. Watch it. Click on our channel, go watch it. The Aquaterra, yeah, it's, a, it's a bit standard. People people expect that watch. But I feel like the Speedmaster 57, which is number three, doesn't get enough love. It's 40.5 millimeter, 
and it's a steel on steel watch so steel bezel speedmaster and it is stunning with a big arrow for the hour hand so shakes up that design based on the original the original 1957 speedmaster and what a watch this is featuring a absolutely beautiful manual wind caliber 9906 coaxial oh, it's it's what a watch it's subtle and beautiful. I don't know what else to say about this watch. It's just retro. It wears beautifully. It's sort of sort of got flat links, whereas the normal Speedmasters have curved. So if you want something that has a nice wrist roll with and will really catch the light, this is the Speedmaster for you. It wrist rolls similarly to a PRX because of those much flatter links. 40.5 millimeter case diameter, so it wears amazingly, just like a normal Speedmaster. Normal Speedmaster's 42 mil, and that wears super, super small, really, really nicely. 60 hour power reserve, and not exactly affordable. We're not going for affordable on this list. We're going for the really cool, nice luxury watches that you can actually get because this Speedmaster is £8,900. Pound, pound, poundy pounds. If you want a green chrono, get this one. Now we're going to veer slightly off and talk about something a bit different. Is it different? No, it's not even that really different. We're going to talk about the Santos de Cartier green dial in large. This dial released 2023, oh stunning. It's got the automatic 1847 MC movement and what a dial this is. Oh my god. So this watch, what's also really really cool about it is if you love green, this watch is going to jiggle it, jiggle itself for you. I, where was I going? This watch is going to jiggle itself for you because not only because does it come with what I think is one of the best bracelets out there, the Santos bracelet. It comes with a green alligator leather strap as well, comes with, which is awesome. We got a Santos into work a couple of weeks ago that someone ordered with us and they bought it in for the link adjustment and we were like, oh good God, how are we going to do this? Took it out back to try and figure it out and it's the easiest thing ever. It was amazing. Every single link has a button on the bottom, you just click the button, the pin comes out, you slide it out, boom, link adjustment. And adjust changing the bracelet's just as easy. Is a button, you take the strap off. It's incredible. This dial is stunning. This watch fits amazingly. The cabochon on the crown, the little blue synthetic sapphire, stunning. Just this, the Santos is a game changer. And when you wear one, you fall in love with it. And I feel like that's the case with many Cartiers. Um, I feel like this watch has gone up a lot in price. It is, it, it, it's not cheap. This large model Santos with a case width of 39.8 millimeters and a thickness of 9.38, it is 7,400 pounds. Again, not cheap. This watch availability isn't quite as good as the others, but it's not a register of interest piece. You can walk into a shop and buy them just sort of when they're in stock. It's just a case of waiting for it to come into stock. It's not one that you're gonna be waiting years for. So you can actually go out and buy it, and I think that's cool. So what a watch this is. Number five, we're gonna scuttle across the planet for this one. We've been to Switzerland, which was completely predictable. If we didn't go to Switzerland for a luxury watch video, especially dealing with five luxury watches, I'd be like, what the hell are we doing? We've been to Germany with the Glasshood Original. We started our quest in Germany. Now, we're gonna fly around the world and we're gonna land in Japan, the land of S -S Sumo? Sumo comes from Japan. Yeah, the land of Sumo, Ramen, Sushi, and Hello Kitty. <laughs> But we're gonna talk about Grand Seiko for number five. Which Grand Seiko? Good question. I'm a massive fan of Grand Seiko. I think they make some amazing watches. We're gonna talk about my favorite case that Grand Seiko make, which is the 62 GS case. They make four watches in this collection. It's the Heritage Collection with dials reflecting four Japanese seasons. We've got spring, summer, winter, and autumn. Sorry, those aren't four Japanese seasons. Those are just four seasons. 
Um, standard. Yeah, those are the four standard seasons, which you can find in planets all around the world. Planets, countries all around the world. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the SBGH271, also known as the Ricca, the early summer. And oh, Jesus, that dial, it's just a beautiful sort of deep grass green dial. It looks like summer, the dial. It's got beautiful Zeratsu polished gold indices and ooh, ooh, it's, it's lovely. It is lovely. Diameter, 40 millimeter. The lug to lug, 47. Thickness, 12.9 millimeter. It is so nice, okay? It is is so nice. So this one specifically differs from like the Shunban and the Taisetsu you might be familiar with because it's made in stainless steel, which some people might prefer. It's also not spring drive, which again, some people may prefer. I prefer spring drive, but this movement is still stunning. It features the caliber 9S85 and it is a high beat movement, a high beat 36 thousand what a movement that is 55 hour power reserve which isn't that amazing but the high beats from grand seiko are you know, chefs kiss love them my only complaint about this watch i guess is um and the 62 gs case in general is it's a 21 millimeter lug width but the case is just so beautifully made and so lovely in shape so curvaceous i don't really mind it and the dial i saw one the other day and geez Jeez. Just the combination of gold on green makes me happy in my trousers. You know, just, it's a cool combo. That's why I like this watch, because it's got the green dial and the gold, and the gold GMT hand. And the Grand Seiko will cost you, I think it's actually the cheapest one on this list, at 5,900 pounds. So um, if you want a beautiful green dial, and it's a bit different, get the Grand Seiko, 5,900 pounds. Those were five beautiful luxury green dog watches you can actually go out and buy right now. That list may have included some things that you weren't expecting. May have included some things that you really, really were expecting. I do obviously want to mention a couple honorable mentions, namely the Seamaster 300 meter green dial, beautiful. The Aquaterra green dial, also beautiful. And then there's a lot of watches that aren't so easy to get that are definitely in the luxury or alt ultra luxury price point that are beautiful. For example, the Rolex Submariner green bezel, amazing bezel. It's it's just a great watch. The Olive Dial Aquanaut, what a watch that is. Or, and everyone knows I love this watch because I never stop talking about it. Any guesses, Tez? The Olive Dial Day Day. The Olive Dial Day Day, um, I love that dial. Even the, like the green dial Oyster Perpetual, or the mint green Datejust. Rolex makes a lot of really nice green dial watches, but they defeat the object of this video because these are watches you can actually go out and buy, which Rolex isn't too hot on at the moment, is it? What did you think of my list? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. And don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon, ding! And click like. And watch yourselves.